Hi guys, my name is Eric and because I like Blender you can call me Blenderic. In this chapter of my uh, Blender modeling furniture interior accessories I'm going to show you how to create the model of books for your interior scene. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use the picture of the books which I which I took you know I, I just took some of my books out of the shelf put it on the table and took a picture so because if you want if you are making like a model of your room uh, you will probably want to have on the shelves in your virtual room have a uh, like books from your real library because uh, as they say, show me what you read and I will tell you who you are, you know what I mean? So, I've got this picture, you can use your books and take a picture of them and then use it in the blender. Alright, let's start with a, in, in the front view, so set by default. Now what we need, we're gonna use that picture I showed you earlier uh, as a background picture, so go to view, background image use background image and control load and go to where you have your your books I put it on desktop to find it easily books select the image and there we go so I'm gonna use this as a, as a preference yeah uh, press space add mesh cube Press Z to go to wireframe mode. Grab. Press S Z to scale it along the Z axis. Press S X to scale it up to the size of the first book. Move it just try to match it to with your picture you can even rotate it a little bit just a bit and then move it down All right. so we are in the front view we, if you go to 7 to the top view don't care about, we don't care about the background picture at the moment we just need to scale up our book along the y axis so S Y and scale it up to about the size of a real book which can be yeah this is just about right so go back to the front view and we're going to continue by duplicating so hold down the shift D and Z and duplicate the book and now we need to scale it up you see I don't know what, what about what, I don't know a lot about your picture but to match it with my picture and to scale Z make it like thinner go there, move it down and now scale it along the Z S, S X I mean not Z X axis scale it up move it up a little bit just like that a little bit higher and rotate it just a little bit okay okay I like that alright I'm not going to continue now so I'm going to press my pause button and I'll be back as soon as I have all of my books done you continue by doing your job yeah so all of my books done already so in the wireframe mode it looks like that in the solid mode looks like that looks like this so go back to the front view wireframe and now we we need to join all of these uh, uh, scaled cubes together so press B for box selection tool and just drag and select all of them press control J join selected meshes and we can make it uh, just one mesh press center new to put the center of our new mesh uh, in the middle in center ok 
Okie dokie, so there's one. And uh, now we don't need our background image anymore, so uh, use button, deselect the use button and press this small X to deselect the background image. Right, uh, if you go to front view, okay, we want to have like this books. I took a picture of the books on the table, but I want to, in my scene, I want to put them on the shelf, like standing, not this position. So we need to rotate them 19 de 90 degrees, press R, control, and, oh, sorry, deselect. We have a uh, light selected as well. So press A to deselect and select just the books. Press R to rotate and holding down control. You can rotate it 90 degrees or you can just type 90 enter yeah all right let's press zero to go to camera view uh, now we see we need to press s and scale down whole thing okay press seven uh, select the camera press g to grab press r r to rotate zero to go to camera view and one and move our camera a little bit down I didn't I didn't set up the empty for this one but I move the camera a little bit back there's one the camera a little bit up just get the best uh, camera view go seven select the light and move the light in front of our boobs okay if you Press uh, F12 to render now. That's what you see. Okay, what we want to do now, assign some uh, texture to this uh, side, this faces of our book. So, with the books selected, press 1 to go to front view. Split our area by left, uh, right click, split area left click to confirm drag line down here select the UV image editor and uh, with a uh, book selected press tab to go to edit mode select the face select mode press A to deselect and by holding down the control select just this front faces of our books with all these faces selected very nice with all these faces selected <coughs> uh, select the materials select the material icon add new press text face and on the right side in your UV mapping editor select the image holding down control open and go for the same image as we have used as our preference so this one for me open image what happened okay we need to ah uh, forgot to Okay, on the left, sorry, the basic step. I'm still just a beginner, you see. So, on the left side, with all these front faces selected, now we don't have a front side, side A to deselect, and select uh, holding down shift just the front faces again. One, two, oh, this one, I don't want this one. It was an accident, basically. So, with all of them selected, press U and UE calculations, project from view. It's going to bring the same thing into right view. And now press image. Mm. Oh. Image. Hold on the control. Open. And uh, now go for the same picture as before. For me it's a desktop. My books. Picture. Open image. Alrighty. We'll hold this. Press A to deselect and A to 